I could not do this show without acknowledging the most famous pudding in England, the Yorkshire pudding. You know, I grew up in a pub. So I always feel very, yeah, all my life I was born, yeah. literally born in a pub. You know. All right, well, so, so was John. Was, yeah. Oh, really? John was born oh, in this yeah. pub. In this all right, well, let's see. <laughs> were you conceived in the pub? <laughs> well, I think so. Yeah, yeah really. <laughs> oh, well, you, you trumped me then. <laughs> I don't know. South End Pier and a pub is not quite as good as a pub and a pub, but there you go. So what's at the heart of good Yorkshire cooking? Yorkshire pudding. Yeah, Yorkshire yeah. pudding. Yeah. We still do the Yorkshire pudding as starters here. Oh, you do Yorkshire pudding as starters? Yeah. yeah. The Yorkshire way is to have it as starters yeah. and then yeah. gravy. Yeah. Yeah. Because you couldn't so afford you meat and veg. Yeah. So it's basically a way of people fobbing off your appetite yeah. on the yeah. cheap stuff. Yeah. yeah. And then as the expensive stuff comes out, you're a bit oh, off. Just a little bit. <laughs> just a little bit. Hello, Kevin. Hey, nice to meet you, mate. So this is a Yorkshire starter. Um, oh, oh yeah. Just two crispy Yorkshires, a silky onion gravy, simplicity in its purest form. Wherever I go in the world, people go, yeah, Yorkshire puddings, Yorkshire puddings. I mean, they've become infamous, haven't they? In the old days, when they used to roast the meat, in front of an open fire. On a spit or something? On a spit. They used to have a, a, a big square dripping tray underneath. Catch you which would catch all the fat and all the juices from the meat. Then they started with you. a batter pudding they used to uh, put into the tray. This uh, is delicious. I mean, I think it's quite cool and, and really humble, actually, to do a Yorkie and good gravy as a starter. How tall your nan's Yorkshire oh, pudding? exaggeration like that. <laughs> So she bashed out a batter. A bowl, a bowl like this. There were flour, water went in, eggs, and milk, eggs, salt and pepper. Eggs, salt and pepper. We used to, you get a quick whisk. Drippings hot in a tray. Oh, yeah, steam. Mm. Pulls it yeah. out, pours them in. Straight in. Closes the door, yeah. and however much time. And then when she poured them out. Probably half an hour or something like that. But it literally filled the it whole cavity of the oven. It must have sticked at top. It must have sticked at the plate at top. So when she poured it out, it goes, couldn't get it out, couldn't get it out. <laughs> <laughs> There'll be thousands and thousands of chefs that will pay money to see that. I might still have a recipe book. Well, if you find a good one, let me know, and yeah. I'll put it in the book in memory of her. Yeah. But, um, it cost you a lot of money, Jim. <laughs> in memory of her. <laughs> that means for free. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do a fantastic dish. It's a collision of all the influences that I've had so far. So I've got smoked trout. From the pub, taking the concept of Yorkshire puddings as a starter, love that. Also, the fact that that's a traditional way to fill people up. So I'm doing mini Yorkshire puddings. Oh, look, just bear with me. Mini Yorkshire puddings with potted smoked trout and horseradish. Brilliant, wicked combo. Take 200 grams of cream cheese, thin it out with some milk and season it. I've got some horseradish. You can use the sort of regular horseradish in a jar if you want, but I'm just gonna grate some fresh. So you want it to be hot. Fight the heat of the horseradish with the acid of one lemon. What are you after? No sugar cubes here, mate. You want it to have attitude. If it's a bit floppy, like a dodgy old handshake, it's no good at all. You need it to be a big old firm handshake, right? So mix this up, make it light and silky. Now I'm using some chives, just because I think it's delicate. And of course, that little hum of onion sort of is really good at joining up all those flavours, do you know what I mean? Look, everyone in the world loves Yorkshire puddings. So when you get those bad boys coming out of the oven, hot and sizzling, and then you have this beautiful flaky spotted smoked trout smeared on there, bang it in your gob. Happy days. Take the trout, think texture, and just flake up that beautiful smoked fish. And the more chunks in there, the better. The last thing in the world I want to do is create a mousse. Not into that at all. It's quite nice to remind people of the flavours that are going into this story. And this is a story, actually. It's a story of classic Yorkshire life and the Jewish communities brought together by some raving idiot in the middle of a field. Add some finely chopped chives, a little lemon zest and a good pinch of pepper, along with a little bit of cold-pressed British rapeseed oil. Brilliant, simple, humble, delicious food. And the point is, we put that now into the fridge, get it nice and cold, and we serve that with lovely, hot, sizzling baby Yorkshire puddings. Absolute classic. <laughs> so here goes the recipe. Four large, organic, free-range eggs, right? 
do it in a jam jar and memorize the height of the eggs. Right? So look, just under there, centimetre under there is my line, okay? And fill it up exactly to the same amount. Boom. And then flour. Again, to exactly the same amount. Now, I'm just going to whisk this up before I put the flour in. I'm going to put a little bit of salt. That was pepper. It's been a long day. So get some bubbles in there. Into that batter was absolutely key. Frothing nicely, the flour can now go in. So, four eggs, same quantity of milk, same quantity of flour. Who in the world can forget that? Easy. You want it to be light, but thick enough with a few bubbles. And then get them straight in the oven. Get this batter and just literally pour that in. The tin's already been coated with regular sunflower oil. Obviously, that's screaming hot. So cook these nice and fast, 250 degrees Celsius, 500 Fahrenheit. In a regular oven, close that door and just don't touch it. And if it's glass, you can turn the light on and sit there and watch it, which I do often. And I don't think there's anything wrong in admitting that you sit there and you watch Yorkshire puddings cook. But um, where it's close to the fire, you can see it's rising. So I'm going to just turn this. That is what it's all about. The great Yorkshire pudding. Look, you've got the little well in the middle there. Let me take my dear friend, Mr. Yorkshire, smoked trout. Oh, my Lord. Out of the oven. Eat them quick. Don't talk. No rubbish. That is probably one of the nicest mouthfuls of food. I've ever had.